Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy, and I thought I'd do a quick video about how to disarm or disable some of the common traps that we'll come across now in Daisy. So here we have the improvised explosive device. There we have the um, bear trap. There we have the tripwire with a grenade on it. Here we have the claymore. And here we have the good old land mine. Now, the first thing I would say is if you're on a public server or a community server and you come across one of these that has been armed, sometimes discretion is the better part of valor. And you should probably move away from the area because it's maybe someone waiting for you to trip those um, those traps um, and pick up the pieces or ambush you or they could even have you in their sights right now waiting for you to attempt to disarm them waiting for you to go still and then they proceed to proceed to blat you um, but maybe you're in a situation where a trap has been placed by an entrance to your base um, and you, you really want to disarm the uh, the trap so let's have a look at it now the IED now this is an interesting one the IED because there's a number of ways that you can um, uh, use an ID. You know, you could use it um, as a remote detonator, so someone could have a trigger, so they could be down the road watching you from a bush, ready to pull the trigger, or you could uh, have it on a timer. Now, obviously, if you can hear it ticking, you should move away very quickly and just let it explode of its own accord. Also, the fact that if you find one of these armed like this, then again someone could be waiting for you you know and then they'll they'll pull the trigger when you go near it so they can go and collect all your hard-earned stuff but if you determine to disarm it generally you can disarm ieds with things like knives and screwdrivers and pliers so for example i've got the combat knife in my hand now and you see i'm getting the option to disarm it um we could swap that to the say screwdriver we can disarm it with that uh, pliers and we could uh uh, disarm it with that so you know you kind of got that choice of doing that um, <laughs> or just moving away now the bear trap now the bear trap has been around for a long time the bear trap you can't kind of disarm with um, pliers or screwdrivers but what you can do is you can trigger it with a long stick so for example I've got the uh, broom in my hand so I'll get the uh, I'll get the indicator to trigger it but if you had like a long stick or a um, what else could it, a short stick I think will do it as well uh, this broom the birch broom anything that looks sticky like this you can trigger the bear trap that will make it snap then you can pick it, take it away with you and do other stuff with it be very careful the brake legs very easily one of the easiest ones to deal with is the uh, tripwire trap but they're also one of the hardest to see because you know in these examples I've made it very easy to see these but if there's a tripwire all you need to do is go up to the tripwire and just take the explosives out of, out of it and that's it and it's now disarmed well i mean the the tripwire will still trigger but there's nothing on it you know it's very very easy as long as you see it that's the important thing with tripwires so um yeah so nice and easy um you could even sort of take the grenade and then move it somewhere else the tripwire and try and catch the other person so here we have the uh the claymore again uh you can disarm claymores with screwdrivers you get the disarm with knives um you can disarm it with a knife i don't i don't think you can use pliers oh yeah you can use pliers on claymores so we could do that and then we could uh, disarm it and here we have the uh, the landmine now you can't disarm landmine with pliers but you can with uh screwdrivers and you can with knives as you can see now with these things it's very important to remember that they could go off when you disarm them this de landmines definitely have quite a long chance of um, going off when you disarm them i think claymores do as well but i haven't had a chance to test that out so be very careful you know, the fact that just by going to try and disarm it could mean that you actually make it explode and it kill you um but if you disarm it you know obviously it's there it's disabled um, i don't think you can use it afterwards once you've disarmed it as well it's, it's basically ruined now the other thing you can do as well is you could choose to shoot them um, and if you do enough damage to them um, they will explode as well the disadvantage to doing that though is the fact that you'll be um, attracting an awful lot of um, attention won't you uh, from people in the in the area and if they've set these traps down with the idea of catching people if they hear you going bang bang 
bang, 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 as though you're trying to destroy one of these, then they, they may well uh, decide to come looking for you, um, and you'll be in just as much bother as if you had um, triggered the trap itself. So there we go. So the next time you see a screwdriver or a pair of pliers um, in your looting around Chernerus or Livonia, make sure you stick it in your pocket because you never know when it could be could come in handy to have a go at disarming one of these traps. But as I say, often discretion is the better part of valour. And if you see something that's been armed, chances are the person who armed it may well still be close. Anyway, there we go. What's your tips and tips for doing this sort of thing? Put them in the comment section below the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.